scuba diver did something that I would never do, but I get why he did it. So he is scuba diving with a three meter bull shark. And when the shark got too close, I think his reflexes kind of kicked in and he punched the apex predator in the nose. Wow, Kalia, look at him, he's huge. Hey there, bud. Hey there, bud. You gotta... People that encounter a moose, especially a full-grown bull moose in person, are usually going to marvel at just the pure size of these majestic beasts. Man, look at how huge this thing is. This SUV, if I'm not mistaken, is probably an Isuzu Rodeo. And look at the size comparison here. Like, I understand angles and that it's kind of a different angle here, but still. I would not want to get in the way of this thing. No way, no how. Um, what the heck is going on here? I don't know how I feel about this, really. I feel intrigued in a way, yet kind of grossed out. This is a walking stick, which of course is a huge bug, which for me, if nothing else, I for sure would not be letting this walk all over my face. Hell to the gnaw. Look, any bug that did this to me would get the squishy treatment from my size 11s. This is a video that kind of freaked me out. So as a person who loves animals and always has, y'all know what my number one fear was as a kid, like when it comes to animals? It was getting swallowed whole by a whale. Like I'm not kidding. So when this jet skier bumped into this humpback whale, my brain was thinking about him falling in the water and being swallowed by this gargantuan animal. Of course we know a humpback isn't going to do that, but try telling the eight year old inside of me that. I bet you nincompoops thought the thumbnail to this video was clickbait, didn't you? Not at all. This very smart genius decides that somehow jumping on an alligator from a slack line is a good idea. Folks, I cannot make this stuff up. Dude, there's like 30 alligators under you. Speaking of geniuses who walk on slack lines above alligators, here's another one. So, how much would someone have to pay you to actually walk across one of these? There is simply not enough money in the world for me. I mean, what good is a million dollars if I end up like a ground up sausage patty. People are so crazy. At least this guy doesn't jump on top of the crock like the previous dude did. Get him, son! Get him! The giant African bullfrog is one of the greediest animals in the world. If it can fit it in their mouth, they're gonna eat it. These things do not play. Look at these things devour worms, crickets, and even mice. Can you imagine if this was like the size of a black bear or something? They'll be gobbling up humans left and right. Australia's New South Wales and Queensland are being devoured by over a billion mice. What in the world? <laughs> They're nibbling, gnawing, and scratching their way through anything or anyone in their path. 
This is so insane how mice are taking over in Australia. One of the toughest things about trying to control mice and rats is that they love to, um, let's just say make whoopee. There was something so satisfying about seeing a flamethrower being used for these mice, but guess what? It's not enough. This makes my skin crawl so much. I think it's just time for a shower. To the naked eye, this might at first seem like a normal fishing video. Oh no, my friends. You know nothing normal makes this list. Look at how close this dude was to potentially getting destroyed by this marlin. They have very sharp snouts and can do some serious damage. Dude got off pretty easy. Is this turkey like trying to get into a fight or is the turkey thinking like it's a mating call or something? Either way, this turkey was trying to get into this damn house. Like I know one thing, I wouldn't be taking my black ass outside to try and negotiate with this damn thing and I sure as hell wouldn't be trying to taunt it. What's wrong with people thinking they can harass and taunt animals and nothing will ever happen to them? This is not the biggest buck I've ever seen, but still, I mean, like, imagine having to wrestle with this thing. <laughs> to get that on tape. <laughs> This tussle lasted for about 45 minutes and one of the guys in this video sustained some injuries that actually required surgery. Look, I don't know about you, but I love deer sausage. Because if you mess with me, Bambi, that's exactly what you gonna be. I'm just saying. Imagine being out golfing and just minding your business and then seeing one of these chasing you around. It might be literally one of the last animals you would expect to be harassing you, especially on a golf course. This mom is going for a leisurely splash while vacationing. Then all of a sudden, shark. Oh my God. Oh my God, mom. Don't freak out. Iso Machado came face to face with the eight foot shark after sliding down this inflatable slide off the yacht they chartered in the Bahamas. Wait, this isn't funny. The Florida mom came dangerously close to the nurse shark. Yikes. Look at how close she was to this nurse shark. Now just for reference, nurse sharks aren't really very aggressive towards humans. That still does not make this any less terrifying. When she did, she somehow managed to keep her cool. I figured, can't panic, just having a good time, just kind of slam back. Within seconds, the close encounter was over. Folks, check out how this turkey is acting. <laughs> wow. Thank goodness this man has a glove on because this turkey appears to be biting and trying to attack this man. Can you like imagine having your bare hand out there trying to get this bird away from you? You would have all kinds of scrapes and scratches and marks and blood on your hand. Hail to the gnaw. 
todos. <laughs> that is hilarious. Getting through my glove. Really? Hell yeah. I think I'm gonna stop now. No se mueva. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. Like, props to the woman who kept her cool along with the rest of the women because this was well on its way to being a tragic ending had they panicked. So a black bear decides to harass a woman and it seems more curious than aggressive, but wow. Like, what would you do in this situation? So it looks to me like this guy is trying to do some kind of parkour video. But what he wasn't counting on was to get confronted by an angry St. Bernard. St. Bernards are usually friendly, but I mean, these dogs can get up to 200 pounds, over 200 pounds. So when they are angry, uh, it's not a dog you want to mess with. Check this out. Imagine being a nice person and letting a bear out after it's been locked in this little release container. Don't you think it would scurry off into the woods and be on its merry way? Not this bear. You know, the problem is, what do you do? Do you hop out the car and politely tell the bears to stop destroying your car? So a family of brown bears at Yellowstone decided that this car would make a great play toy and started to attack the car. The kids in the car were not trying to hear it, and I don't blame them. Go forward. They said not to stop. Start driving forward, Jacob. No! No! This shark was so determined to get the heck away from a seal that it actually washed ashore. Like, I wasn't even aware that seals actually eat little sharks, but I mean, it's technically a fish, right? That seal better just hope that Mama Shark don't see him because, uh, Mama Shark gonna kick his butt. So this happens in Kerala, India, where an elephant doesn't like all the chaos going on, but like the previous video, it's sort of surrounded by like even more people though. So once again, being the intelligent creatures they are, it probably did some risk versus reward analysis and opted out of doing the destruction it certainly could have done. Talk about a close call though.
Mata kan lo? Tuh kamera angke, bagu. <laughs> Look how ready these things are to eat. Wow. They are walking all over each other as they sense food is coming. Look, my question is why aren't these guardrails higher? No way in the world would I be comfortable feeding crocs like this because to me, it's just a disaster waiting to happen. This giant elephant was not too happy that this boat came a little bit too close and he gave a little bit of attitude. Watching this, I think the elephant was annoyed because definitely uh, this could have been much more tragic than it was, right? I mean, it wasn't tragic, but he really gave a little stern warning like, hey, like y'all getting too close. I think he just wanted to let these humans know that this ain't the day, bruh. <laughs> Why do people insist on having wild, dangerous animals as pets is beyond me and seems so narcissistic and selfish, but I digress. So I don't know if this guy is one of the film crew or what, but he got a very hostile welcome from this female lion who almost tore him to pieces. Folks, if you really love lions, don't own one. Admire them from afar like the rest of us sane people. We're coming, we're coming. I'm gonna break this window. We're breaking the window. Do you have a knife? Do you have a knife? You, you do that. Tell me if you have a knife. I'll find out. This one's insane. So there's a flood in Baton Rouge, and as you can see, this car is sinking fast. A small group of Good Samaritans know that there is a woman in there, and their quick thinking saved her. What they also discover is that there is also a dog in there as well. I mean, wow, what a daring rescue because I'm pretty sure this dog probably only had a few more seconds had it not been saved when it was. Uh, let me, let me yeah. on, baby. Who's the fun? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. See you next time. Okay. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No need, no face, cause they're not factual. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. Second you switch up, they might get mad at you.